Hello guys, thanks for watching, Adrian here from Mapsid. So uh, in this video I will uh, say a few words about an open source uh, tool uh, for developers provided by Appsid. Django API generator, uh, it's, a, it's a simple project that uh, uh, knows how to generate um, secure APIs uh, on top of Django and DR app. Uh, basically, the, the user needs to define the model, update the configuration, it's just a, a single line to inform the generator that uh, should manage that model. And uh, once the uh, project is started, uh, the API will uh, contain the new, the new service. Let's uh, demonstrate all those steps and uh, once we, we have the quick start in Docker, we will uh, look together on the project uh, code base and uh, highlight um, the important sections. Okay, the first thing is to access the, the repository. Uh, the sources are um, published on GitHub under the MIT license, so feel free to, in order to, uh, in case you, you find uh, the project useful, uh, feel free to extract the code and use it in your projects. Okay, I will uh, clone the, the project from GitHub. Open up the sources using uh, VS Code. So uh, all we need to do is to execute this uh, uh, Docker Compose app command in the root of the directory because the, the project is shipped already with a super simple uh, book model. Just to to explain the to, to showcase something at the at the first start. So I will go here in the root of the project and uh, execute the Docker setup, ship with the product. Uh, now the application, uh, the scripts execute all the steps. And we can see here that the uh, migrations are performed, the database is migrated and also the um, API is generated is that uh, custom generate API command. At this point, the application is up and running and we can uh, access the project in the browser. This is the default port used in all our uh, projects. If we go to the API box, we will see the classic DRF interface. So uh, let's authenticate, create a new user here. Okay, just to help the developers, uh, we coded uh, an API view page where the users, um, registered users are able to interact with, uh, with the box model. So basically we can uh, uh, add the items. So uh, it's important to know that uh, this component interacts with the API and is not managed by the um, in the in the Django view. So uh, the the mechanism is uses the the new service. Uh, okay, of course we can update the item. Cool. And if we refresh the page, we can see here that the book uh, name is updated. Of course, we can uh, delete items as well. So guys, how it works? Basically, the, um, uh, in order to uh, extend and to add your own, uh, your own stuff, just open up the models file, uh, add your definition here, rename the class or whatever. Uh, you need to once you have the mo uh, the the model definition, you need to update the um, uh, settings, the API generator se uh, section, and inform the um, the generator that should be able uh, should be taking into account the, the model. So basically, the syntax is the the book is the name of the model, and here is the um, the path that uh, the API will expose. So we have here books. 
basically is this segment. Of course, we need to migrate the database because generator expects to have that model um, registered in the and usable in the in the database. And once all the previous steps are 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 done, we need to call the generate API um, custom command and uh, generate the API. The code is uh, is generated um, in the API directory here, which is always uh, overwritten at each uh, at each new new generation. Uh, so um, you will have the fresh definitions all the time. So we can uh, define a new model. Let's say we want to have a, a dummy model. Of course, this uh, this model uh, doesn't exist. So I will uh, get back to the uh, to the project and uh, define a new model just to play around with uh, with the concept. So I will put here. Basically, it's, I, I just duplicate the, the book model. So, just to explain the, the concept, I go here. In the end, it's a it's an API generator section. So I will duplicate the line and put here the new model. Cool. So basically, I will stop the application and restart it using Docker. So the Docker will uh, scan the new model, and uh, we should uh, have this path uh, usable after the the Docker starts the application and regenerate the the API. Cool. So we are done. Let's refresh the page. So we have here the the new model registered. So guys. Thanks for watching, uh, Adrian here from Mapsid. I wish you um, to play around. It would be nice to, to play around with the tool. Let us know what you think, how we can improve the, the tool. Uh, as said before, the, um, the project is released under the MIT license, so feel free to use the source code to incorporate in your projects or use it as it is for um, e-learning activities. Uh, in case of uh, any issues, feel free to um, uh, access AppSed and the uh, support page has the coordinates to chat with us on Discord or send us an email if uh, you think is the case. Thanks for watching again. Adrian here from AppSed and as always, I wish you all a super, super day. Bye guys.